Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video yesterday showing how you can increase your privacy and security in the Google Chrome web browser. And in today's video, I will be showing you how you can do the same and increase your privacy and security in the Microsoft Edge web browser. And just like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge is a Chromium based web browser based on the open source Chromium platform. So a lot of the options and adjustments I will make in this video will be very similar to those I made in the video I posted yesterday. And I will leave a link to that video in the description box below if you are interested. Now, just like Google Chrome, there is a lot of backwards and forwards so-called phoning home between the Microsoft Edge browser and Microsoft itself when you are using it. And it doesn't matter how many settings you try and adjust or change, you will never completely stop that process of um, the so-called phoning home between Edge and Microsoft. I'm sure though that some of these settings I will show you today and adjusting them should give you a little bit more peace of mind if that is a concern of yours. Now just like Google Chrome, the first thing I suggest is to get yourself a good ad blocker. I use Malwarebytes Browser Guard which you can get in the Chrome Web Store which is also available in Microsoft Edge or you can download it from their website for free and I just found that this is a very useful application which gives me a so-called first line of defense against ads and trackers, malware, scams, potentially unwanted programs and so on. Another um, good ad blocker you can use is actually called Ad Blocker or Ad Blocker Plus and that can also be found in the uh, Chrome Web Store as well. Now to change some settings and adjust some settings let's go to the top right to the three dotted menu go down to settings and the first section we're going to look at is profiles under your profile and then obviously if you are signed into your Microsoft account in Edge you can sign out but this obviously is not recommended and um, because then you won't be synced across your devices so uh, another thing you can try is you can go to sync and then you can just turn off uh, features you can just toggle them off um, certain features you find you don't really need to be synced across your devices and this will just slow down a bit of backwards and forwards communication as well and then the next one under your profile is passwords and then as far as I know these are all on by default but you can just double check that suggest strong passwords is on because this just um, lets Edge uh, suggest strong passwords um, if you choose to use them especially if you are using a lot of passwords and then and they will be saved and filled automatically next time so just make sure that is on nothing else under your profile and then the next one obviously where there's quite a bit going on is privacy search and services and then by default tracking prevention is on in Microsoft Edge and it is set to balanced and I have had no problem with the balanced recommended setting as I'm sure you um, have, haven't as well, you haven't had any problems but you can set this to strict and um, to block majority of trackers from all sites content ads, parts of sites might not work you see as the problem with this one is it will give you extra protection against tracking prevention but it says here and just like Chrome parts of sites might not work properly so I'll make sure this is set to the default setting which is balanced the recommended setting and then I find with my Malwarebytes uh, ad blocker, my browser guard, I've had no problems with tracking prevention in my Edge browser and in my experience. And then, just like Chrome, you can clear your browsing data. And to do this, you just choose what to clear. And you can also do this in the drop down menu under history. And then, just uh, um, what you can do here is periodically make sure that time range is set to all time. And then all the boxes are checked and then just clear now and that will clear all of that for you and then just to take a note that when you clear cookies and other site data which basically is very important to your privacy just be aware that you if you are using a username and a password to sign into certain sites you will most probably have to re-enter those details again and then under privacy you can also send a do not track request and if you turn that on basically in short what this does is it basically sends a do not track request to a to certain websites 
basically asking them to not track you with the cookies on their websites. But <laughs> a lot of websites just ignore this. But, you know, there might be one or two out there that actually um, uh, do not track you when you send a do not track request. So you can just leave that on just for a little bit more extra peace of mind if you want to. And then under optional diagnostic data. Now this one, you can see I cannot adjust the setting. And that's because this setting is determined by your Windows diagnostic data setting. And I will show you what I mean. So if we go to settings. And we go to privacy. Diagnostic feedback. If you have optional diagnostic data on, you will be able to use that setting. I have required diagnostic data, which um, uh, basically slows down the process of, you know, the data transfer between Microsoft and my, um, my Windows 10 operating system. And then if you have required diagnostic data on, this will be grayed out. And if you have optional diagnostic data on, this you will be able to toggle this on or off. And basically what this does is help improve Microsoft products by sending optional diagnostic data about your about how you use your browser websites you visit. Now, I don't want that happening, so I'm glad that this is off anyway. And if you can, you can just turn that off. And then personalize your web experience. Improve your web experience by allowing Microsoft to use your browsing history from this account, you know, and so on. Now, when you sign into the Edge browser with your Microsoft account, it will ask you, Obviously, when it's um, enabling the sync process, it will ask you if you want this on or off. And I always make sure that this is off when I'm doing that. But if you want to double check, you can just come here and turn that setting off. And then under security, these are all on by default as far as I'm aware. And what you can do here though is it says that, uh, you know, you've got use secure DNS to specify how to look up a network address for websites. And it's got use your current service provider. And then if you are a little bit, um, you know, you're, not, you're a little bit concerned about using your current service provider as a secure DNS, you can always go choose a, another service provider and you can just um, uh, look for that in the search field um, underneath. And then, but I've had no problem using my current service provider in my part of the world. So I found that option just fine. And then under services, I don't think there's anything here. Nope, not that I can see. Okay, then the next one we're going to go to is system. And just like Google Chrome, I always make sure that continue running background apps when Microsoft Edge is closed is toggled off. And the reason for this is, you know, if you have this toggled on, when you close your Edge browser, it will continue running background apps when you close Microsoft Edge and one of the main reasons I turn this off is because I don't want those um, processes and apps running in the background when I'm not using the Edge web browser and it just you know it just helps a, a little bit less of the so-called backwards and forwards communication or phoning home when you uh, are not using your Microsoft Edge web browser as well and then the last one which goes without saying, always make sure that you are running the latest version and build of the Edge browser, which is version 89.0.774.75. For most users, this process will happen automatically. But and it, obviously, it goes without saying that to have the latest version and build, that means you have the latest security fixes, the latest privacy fixes, and the, you know, and all the patches which when it comes to your online privacy and security are very important. So always make sure you are up to date with your Microsoft Edge web browser. So I just wanted to share some of these settings. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of these settings are very similar to the Google Chrome web browser. I will, as I mentioned, I will leave that video in the link, a link to that video in the description box below. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.